This is an overview of new and improved features in Daily Routine 2 for iOS. The biggest new feature in version 2 is full support for iPad. However, there's plenty of improvements for iPhone and iPod Touch users as well. Routines in Daily Routine 2 can now occupy part of a day. For example, here we see one routine which covers midnight to 8am, then another which covers 8am to 6.30pm. This is achieved through the careful use of gaps. Here we see those routines in the routine list. Note the gaps. When we view the calendar, we can see that multiple routines have been assigned to each day. If routines clash, Daily Routine uses routine order to determine which routine to show for each time. To change the order of routines, tap the list button, enter sort mode, change the routine order, then return to the calendar. Note the order of routines on our weekdays has changed. Sometimes you may want to edit the routine for a single day without affecting other days. To do so, scroll to a day header, tap it, and choose the Create One Day Routine option. All time slots from all routines scheduled for that day are copied into a single new routine that only applies to that day. It can be edited without affecting other days. Reusable and one day routines are listed separately in the routine list. In the timeline, we see that our new routine has been applied. In the calendar, we see that our new one-day routine has overwritten the scheduled routines, but just for that day. Another big change in version 2 is time editing. In the time slot editor, we see these grey bars between the time slots. Long pressing one of the bars reveals a clock. By keeping the finger down and moving around, we can change the time. Clockwise for later, counterclockwise for earlier. Keeping the finger inside the dots will change the time by 5 minute increments. Moving the finger outside the dots will change the time in 1 minute increments. Releasing the finger will hide the clock. When changing one time, we also see buttons appearing in adjacent grey bars. These buttons allow us to shift, squish, delete and insert time slots during the time editing process. By default, Daily Routine will squish time slots. Tap the Done button to save time changes. Daily Routine now supports landscape mode on iPhone and iPod Touch. Landscape is supported in all views and is especially handy when viewing the calendar. Daily Routine 2 allows you to add notes to time slots and activities. Just tap the notes icon for a time slot and enter the note. If a time slot has a note, this little icon will appear at the right. That icon will also appear in the timeline. Tapping it will bring up the note. Daily Routine 2 now has more notification sound options. Sounds can be specified per time slot or per activity. For example, if I want to have different sounds for my break time slots and my work time slots, I can. Activities can now also have default durations. For example, sleep is 8 hours by default. This makes it much quicker to create new routines. When creating a new time slot, Daily Routine no longer picks a random activity. Instead, it asks you to pick one. A new time slot is 8 hours long. The duration can easily be overridden. This has been an overview of new features in Daily Routine 2 for iOS. For more videos on specific features, please look in the help menu inside the app or on the website.